everyone, it's Diabetic Danica, and this is Amy, the Yay. Diabetic Roommate. Yay! So we've been roommates this summer for like two months now, and sadly it's ending. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she leaves on Saturday. But we thought we'd do a video because Chris Owen on Instagram, he saw a video, or a picture we put up of both our pumps, and so we're going to talk about the differences between the Mini Mitt and the Animus. Mm -hmm. So here we go. So, number one is screen size. So I have no idea, actually. We've never done this before. So show me your screen. Whip her out. Light yours up. Oh. <laughs> Light her up. Yours is small. Mine tends to be long. Mine's longer? It's longer, yeah. It doesn't tend to be. Mine is definitely longer. <laughs> is yours wider? It tends to be. And mine's a color screen. I don't know. Mine is uh, black and white and dark and light. That's about <laughs> it. Mine used to be like that. And then the brightness. I feel like mine's brighter, but it's like almost too bright. How, how about well do you see yours at night? At night it's really good, but in the sunshine, I can't see it at all. Like mm -hmm. I have to do this. When I had the, my other pump, it was the same type of screen as this, and I could actually see, but in the sun I can't see at all. So that's like a downfall of mine, I feel like. I actually use mine as a light when I check my blood sugar in the dark sometimes. I do too. Really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's very handy. <laughs> they should just come with like a flashlight. Yeah. Sure. It out. There are so many features that this pump needs to have for daily living that are not related to diabetes like that you're using for. Exactly. Hey. Yeah. Do you have a meter remote? Um, I somewhere in my house. Okay. They were asking about the range of the meter to the remote. I don't actually know mine. I lost it. And close. So I don't know. But I mean, if you think about it, you have to like it's connected to you, right? So it's close to you anyway, and you're holding the meter, so it's not it doesn't really matter the range. I feel like Cause it's right next to you. So this one is durability. So how many have you had? Like how many have you had to replace your pump? This is only my second um, pump due to breakage, but that was my own darn fault. I was scuba diving and went a little bit too deep and that was the end of it. But they sent me one overnight, so I was good. That's good. How long have you had it? I've had this one since, well, I've, I've had the pump since 06 and I think they've upgraded it once since then, but I'm about to get a new upgrade in That's a long time. Months. Yeah, so I only had two pumps. I think we talked about this before actually. I've had mine for like seven years and I think this is like my fifth or sixth one. Why does it break? It's just like stupid stuff like the buttons will start coming off on the side or I think it cracked once on the battery pack. That's intense pumping. I know. I know. Do they have an update program for yours? Yeah. I also updated it once. I used to have the, what was it called? I don't know. The other one. The one before this. Is that the newest <laughs> Anos ping? Yeah. The mm -hmm. Anos Vibe is going to come out though. The vibe. It has the CGM integrated. So next one. For. Next one I'm getting is called the Rebel. Ah. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. The Rebel and the Vibe. Mm -hmm. it's yeah. pretty intense. They're trying really hard, obviously. <laughs> well, okay. okay. You call it cartridge. Yeah. Right. And I call it reservoir. Reservoir. It's much more refined, and delicate. And what did you? If Dan came up with the greatest phrase yesterday. Um, you know, if someone's being kind of arrogant and they're being all that in a bag of chips, then you can put that in your pump and prime it. That's right. That's Stick it to them where it hurts. <laughs> so genius. good. What is the size of your insulin reservoir? Or cartridge, if you're on the animus. Mine's three mils, which is up to 300 units. Yeah. Wow, that's fancy. <laughs> How much does yours hold? Um, it says, wait. Oh, two I think mil. it says two, but it usually doesn't, like, by the time I put insulin in and prime it, it's like 180. Oh, okay. So it's not very much. I only fill mine up to, like, 250. I'm not exactly sure why. Because then it doesn't go bad, right? Maybe. Something like that. So, yes, that's right. Yes. <laughs> right. And then I just Maybe. change it when it empties. Yeah. I think that's the that's original fine. reason. I've been doing it so long, it's just like, yeah. that's why I do it. That's, <laughs> it just happens. Yeah. Perfect. So now a size comparison. How big is it? It's like the same. It only mine's longer. Like mine's bigger. How heavy is yours? I'm going to trade. Yours feels kind of light. Whoa! Mine's actually clunky. Okay, i got to balance them both. Hold on, I have my clip on. Yeah, I, I have no idea. I don't know. Is yours lighter? I don't know. They're pretty much the same. Like, but the difference is very small. Hers is a little bit longer, we found out, and slightly heavier. But besides that, it's because you have more insulin, though. Right, yes, because there are two types of every Medtronic insulin pump, and mine has the big reservoir. The yeah. Three mil, the three hundred. That units. one milliliter of insulin, man, that does weigh it down, I gotta say. Yeah, the smaller one is <laughs> 1. 1.8 mils. And, uh, it's probably not that much lighter. It actually looks exactly like that. Yeah? Yeah. They're pretty much the same. Yeah, only it's better. 
<laughs> but we're not bitter about this. No, no. 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 Mine's the best. Okay. Reservoir. The speed of my insulin delivery is And mine is Like that. Do that now. Exactly like that. Mm -hmm. It's really fast. Mine will bolus right away. It doesn't waste any time. Do you ever feel it? Actually, yeah, sometimes. Mm -hmm. If it's been in too long, I might feel it. It might sting a little bit. So that's actually, I guess, could be a downfall. But I feel like I wouldn't want to wait for my bolus. Like, if you bolus, like, eight units, how long does that take? I have never bolused eight units. Never? No, after, after like six units, it actually goes beep, 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 max bolus to reach. And then I'm like, I shouldn't have eaten so much. Your max bolus is six? It really has this My way of shaming you. My max bolus is 16. It has this way of shaming you. So I give myself several boluses of six and don't feel you so bad. You can change that though. You can change the max bolus. I know, but I like it shaming me into not okay. eating so much of a face. All right. That works. How much value does the color screen add? Not a lot. Um, I can't really see it in the sun, like I said before. And also, it drains the battery like crazy. So my battery used to last a long time when I had a screen like this, and now it doesn't. <laughs> so I waste a lot of money on battery. What kind of battery? Lithium battery. I use a AAA, and I have to change it about once a month. If I use a Dollar General uh, AAA battery, not the Energizer Bunny, I have to change it um, about every week or two, actually. So there is a difference. I just hate running low on battery. It drives me crazy. Because I never know how long. It'll say low battery. And I never know what's what's a low battery. Yeah. There's no unit. Mine will go up and down too. It'll be like, oh, you have one bar. Oh no, like panic. Oh, how and then it'll bars? go back up to two, and I'm like, okay, what do you mean? How many bars in your battery? I have three. four bars total in my battery. I have three. I think I like the more bars. It sounds kind of trivial, but I know at one bar, that's like something I need to be warned about. But really? at one bar for years out of three, I do It lasts worry. so long. Really? Yeah, I can go on one bar forever, but it al alerts you every time, which is annoying because it wastes more battery. Yeah. But. Anyway, I feel like it drains the battery, and it's really not, like, who cares if there's yellow and blue. It doesn't really... Yeah. Yeah. Next question. I heard Animus is waterproof. How waterproof is it? Waterproof till it breaks. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's pretty waterproof, but if you have one little crack... One time. <laughs> one time I dropped it in the bathtub, and it was fine. So... It's pretty waterproof, but why risk it, right? True. Why True. risk it? Waterproof is not the same thing as splash proof or water resistant either. Mine's definitely not waterproof. Um, I've gotten it wet my fair share of times, but the only time I've broken it was, I think it was due to pressure, but water pressure, you know what, same thing. <laughs> Don't do it. Water and technology just... Not eh, worth it. Eh.